Happy New Year, everybody. I hope you had a fantastic 2012, and I uh, hope you're looking forward to 2013 as much as I am. Uh, one of the initiatives I have for 2013 is to have a uh, app, a real estate app developed and branded. Um, here, right, is a good example of uh, kind of a generic one that's out there. A lot of great companies have uh, developed these uh, apps for individual realtors. Kind of have the same idea, but a little bit of a twist, and that's where I hope you can give me a hand. But like this idea, for example, uh, Terry uh, Penrod, uh, obviously branded app here. A little bit of a generic looking face, uh, for example, uh, map closest homes. That, that seems to be a big thing through the MLS service, multiple listing service. Uh, they actually run it through what's called an IDX. So this is updated uh, daily. Uh, I have a little bit of a different twist, and I know that sounds counterintuitive, but I want to make my own list uh, on the app. So I don't necessarily have to have the local MLS in place. A uh, perfect example, I may end up going with this gentleman. He uh, developed this app for somebody else. Looks great. Uh, I put a little X through here. I don't necessarily need this first page, but, but for example, second page, uh, this would be on the uh, app when it pops up. So for example, my ugly face, contact information, uh, the ability to email me through the app, uh, also the text me and call me. And then below here we have a couple buttons. Uh, one thing I failed to mention also, love to have this available on Google Play, uh, through the Android market, iPhone, tablets, through the App Store. So. Um, so I have an opportunity to have people download this that I may not have initially been in contact with. Uh, but what will be interesting, it's a little bit different, is this particular first button here. Uh, it's an opportunity to browse listings. So this was where the MLS comes into play. Uh, that's actually downloaded through the IDX and it's updated um, you know, real time. Uh, this particular first page here, uh, and when someone clicks on it, I'd like them to actually be uh, from information that I'm able to input into a cloud and from what I understand uh, talking to this gentleman, uh, it would be through an API hosted uh, type of system. So uh, perfect example, let me open up the local MLS. All these people that are listed here, they used to be on the market at one time, they wanted to sell their home. Uh, for whatever reason, they have come off the MLS. So what I do is I actually make a proactive call out to them and say, hey, you have a beautiful house here. If we're able to find a buyer that met your price point, is that something you'd consider? And nine times out of ten, everyone says yes. So what I'd like to do is, you know, I could do the heavy lifting on my side. It might even just be a copy and paste. I put this into the cloud and then through the API, all this information is available on the app when someone clicks this first page. And then from there, up comes this information. They can see the photo. Now keep in mind, these aren't actively listed, but I've pre-qualified them by a phone call. And if somebody likes this particular house, they can click on it and then I would get a notification that uh, they're interested in possibly looking at it. Uh, what I love also that he has in place is, um, you know, sell my house. That would be the second tab you click on. Uh, so sell, sell your house, someone fills out a uh, landing page. Uh, so for example, let's say I had my house, I wanted to sell it, I fill out this page, and then that information goes directly to my email account. I can follow up with that individual and have a discussion with them about what they want to do and how much they want to sell their house for. Uh, and it may even be driven off the fact that they saw a house in here that they want to purchase. So keep in mind this right here, this particular list of homes that I've been in contact with is completely separate from this landing page. Uh, so I'm kind of I'm trying to work both angles. I'd love to list somebody's house, but if not, uh, they at least have the opportunity to buy homes that I have been in contact with in the past. So pretty straightforward app. Uh, I guess the challenge that uh, on the developer side is the ability for me to go ahead through this MLS service 
let's say um, I click on this this is the challenge is bringing in this information and, and I can manually fill that out into the cloud then the cloud can go ahead and automatically populate it into the app that seems to be the biggest challenge uh, right now to find somebody that can do that uh, price point wise looking that you know obviously I have it filled out for $500 this is going to be an ongoing project so every two weeks every month uh, I update this information I say hey look at these brand new houses that I've spoke with this is the information so it would be an ongoing relationship wouldn't be necessarily you do the app and then you we never talk to each other again uh, I want to make this a, a big 2013 initiative uh, so keep me posted let me know your thoughts and feelings on it and uh, Look forward to working with you.